Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet a hexagon doll. So let's get started. Welcome to Hectanooka 1. If you find the videos too fast, you can slow them down by clicking on the gear icon below the video. To make this hexagon doll, I'm going to work with Red Heart Super Saver, which is a worsted weight yarn, and a 55 millimeter crochet hook. Start with a slip knot, chain 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Slip stitch to join and form a ring. Chain 2, 1, 2. Carry this yarn end along the outside of the ring and then you can pull it to close the hole. Make two more double crochet in the ring. 1, 2. Chain 2, 1, 2. Make three double crochet in the ring. 1, 2, 3. Chain two, one, two, three double crochet in the ring. One, two, three. These chain two spaces are the corners, so I need six corners. I'm going to continue around chain two, three double crochet. One, two, and three. Chain two, one, two, one, two, and three. Chain two, one, two, make three double crochet, one, two, three. Chain two, that's number six. Now find the top of that first chain two and slip stitch to join. Now when you turn this around, you can pull the yarn end and close up the center hole. So this is how it looks and there's my six corners. One, two, three, four, five, six. For the next row, I'm going to turn and I'm going to slip stitch into the chain two space. Now I'm going to chain two and that counts as a double crochet. Make two more double crochet. One, two, now chain two, one, two, and make three more double crochet in that same chain two space. One, two, and three. There's your corner. Go to the next chain two space, make three double crochet. One, two, three, chain two, one, two, and three more double crochet. One, two, and three. Go directly to the next chain two space. Make three double crochet. One, two, and three. Chain two, one, two, three more double crochet in that same chain two space. One, two, and three. Go to the next chain two space. Three double crochet. One, two, and three. Chain two, one, two, three double crochet. One, two, and three. Okay, so I'm going to repeat that in these two additional chain two spaces. Three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. Okay, I worked all the way around. I've reached the end. I'm going to find that chain two for the beginning and I'm going to slip stitch to join. So now I'm going to turn my work. I'm going to chain two and that takes the place of the first double crochet. And I'm going to make two more double crochet one, two, and I'm working that in between the corner clusters. So now here's a corner cluster again. So I'm going to make three double crochet. One, two, three. 
chain two, one, two, and then make three more double crochet in that same chain two space. Okay, so that's a corner cluster of three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. And now I'm going to make three double crochet in the space between these two. And then I'll make another corner here of three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. I'm going to do that all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around. There's my last corner cluster. Bind the first chain two and slip stitch to join. Fasten off with a long yarn end for sewing the two sections together. And I'm going to go ahead and make another section just like this. Okay, I have my two hexagons and they both have long yarn ends. So I'm going to fold them point to point. So point to point like that, point to point. And I'm going to have my yarn end here. So these are the arms and that's the body. Thread the yarn end into a needle, weave it down just right to the end here. And I'm going to bring these two together and I'm going to stitch these two sides. So stitch it all the way up. Okay, I've gone ahead and I've sewed that up. Now flip it over and here's the yarn end for the other one. Weave it through and then sew this seam. Okay, so now I'm going to make the legs. So I'm going to start here in the center. I'm going to attach my yarn, lock it in, chain two, and now I'm going to double crochet in each stitch until I get to this opposite seam. So I'm going to go ahead, double crochet all the way around, making one double crochet in each stitch. Okay, I've reached the other side. Now I'm just going to come directly over, find that chain two, and slip stitch to join. Chain two, and turn. Double crochet in each stitch around. Okay, all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around at the end of the row, find the chain two and slip stitch to join. Chain two and turn. Double crochet in each stitch around. All the way around. Okay, I've worked a total of four rows of double crochet for the legs. And now I'm going to work the feet. So I folded my yarn and pulled the loop through and lock it in. And now I'm going to work single crochet decrease across the row. So to do that, I insert my hook into the next stitch and pull up the yarn, and then I go to the next stitch and pull up the yarn, and then I complete my single crochet. So into the stitch, pull up the yarn, into the next stitch, pull up the yarn, and then complete the single crochet. So I'm going to do that all the way across the row. So pull up a loop, pull up a next loop, single crochet. Okay, I've worked all the way around. If I have to do one more single crochet there, I will. And then I'm going to work around and I'm going to make two single crochet in each stitch. So one, two. Go to the next stitch, one, two. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And I've reached all the way around. Now I'm just going to do one row of single crochet, one single crochet in each stitch. And now I'm going to work single crochet decrease again. So I 
like that, nice and off. And now I'm going to stuff a cotton ball into the foot, thread the yarn end into a needle, weave through that last row of stitches, like that. And then I'm going to weave the yarn end up to the ankle, like that. Wrap it around and take a couple of stitches to secure it. Weave the yarn end into the finished work. Now I'm going to work the other leg. Attach my hook into that stitch. Pull the yarn through. Lock it in. Take an additional stitch. Double crochet in each stitch around and continue to work the leg until you have worked four rows of double crochet and then continue to work the foot in the same manner. Okay, I've gone ahead and done the foot on the other leg and I'm going to do the hands the same as I did for the feet. I'm going to attach my yarn in one of the corners. I'm going to work across doing single crochet decrease. And right up to the corner. Like that. Chain one and turn. Make two single crochet in each stitch. One, two, one, two. Chain one and turn. Make one single crochet in each stitch across the row. Chain one and turn. Single crochet decrease across the row. Like that. Turn. Single crochet decrease across the row. Fold the work and slip stitch up the side. Fasten off, stuff a cotton ball in for the hand, wrap this around, tie the yarn ends into a square knot, weave the yarn ends into the finished work. Like that. So now I'm going to go ahead and make a hand on the other side. Okay, I've gone ahead and done both hands and both feet. And now I'm just going to sew across the top of the sleeves. So pull it through. Lock it in. Now I'm going to sew across. Take an extra stitch here. And that's about an inch from the center and here an inch from the center. So I'm just going to come right over to this side and lock that in. and then sew the top of the sleeve. Now I'm going to work the head in this opening. So I'm going to attach my yarn on one side, pull it through, lock it in, and single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around. Now I'm going to slip stitch to join. Chain one and turn. And I'm going to work two single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So one, two. One, two. One, two. So all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around at the end of the row slip stitch to join. Chain one and turn. Make one single crochet in each stitch around. So one single crochet in each stitch.
Okay, I worked all the way around at the end of the row, slip stitch to join. And I'm going to repeat that for three more rows. Chain one and turn, single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Okay, I did those additional rows. That's my foundation row, and then I have one, two, three, four, five rows. Stuff the head. And now I'm going to make the hat. Leave a long yarn end for sewing the hat onto the head. That's about 12 inches. Start with a slip knot. Work a foundation chain that will wrap all the way around the head. Like that. Make sure it wraps around the head. Slip stitch to join. Being careful not to twist the chain. Chain 2. Leave the yarn end free. Half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. To make a half double crochet, yarn around the hook, insert it into the stitch, pick up the yarn and pull it through, then pick up the yarn and pull it through all three loops on the hook. So go ahead and make a half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around at the end of the row, slip stitch to join. Chain two and turn, half double crochet in each stitch all the way around. And you're going to repeat that row until the hat is approximately two inches tall. Okay, I've gone ahead and I've, and I've worked four rows of half double crochet. Now I'm going to decrease for the top of the hat. So chain two and turn. So I'm going to work decreases of half double crochet. So I'm going to pull the yarn up through one stitch, pull it up through the next stitch. I'll have four loops on the hook. Pull the yarn through all four loops. So start as though it's a half double. Pull the yarn through pull the yarn through, pull it through both. I'm going to do that all the way across the row. Okay, I've gone ahead and I've worked across the row and I've reduced and I'm going to repeat that. So I'm going to chain two and turn and I'm going to work half double crochet decreases across the row. Okay, I've gone ahead and worked a row of half double crochet decreases. And now I'm just going to go right across, directly across, and I'm going to slip stitch. And then I'm just going to chain a long chain for the tail of the hat. So just whatever you would like. So I'll stop there. And then I'm going to half double crochet all the way back up to the hat. Okay, all the way up. Okay, I worked all the way back down to the hat and I'm going to slip stitch to join and fasten off and I'll pull that yarn end inside the hat. Okay, I just checked to make sure that the hat fits, but before I sew the hat on, I'm going to put the eyes in and I'm going to put them here on a slant like that. So I'll make the first one here. And then I'll skip two stitches and come over to here, stitch the other eye on here. Like that. And then just fasten off the yarn up here. And tuck the head back in. And I'm going to start in the center back to sew the hat on the head. And I'm going to sew it right down to the neck in the back. And then as I come around to the front, I'll make sure that it shows the facial features. So keep sewing around. Okay, so I pinned it here and I'm just going to keep sewing. And I chained a chain of 100, wrap it around the neck and tie it. And there's the finished hexagon doll. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.